The gentlelady from California seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 48, printed in Part A of House Report number 117-405, offered by Mrs. Torres of California. Pursuant to House Resolution 1224, the gentlewoman from California, Ms. Torres, and a member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlelady from California. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in support of my amendment to have transparency and accountability over American taxpayer money sent abroad. I am proud to be supported by Chair Castro, Chair Ceres, and the House Foreign Affairs Committee, as well as Representatives Escobar, Vargas, Jacobs, Milanowski, and Levin. Support from members on both the Armed Services and the Foreign Affairs Committees is a reminder that our national security relies on both the state and defense departments. This amendment provides additional oversight over Section 333 funding in the Northern Triangle region of Central America. Section 333 gives the Department of Defense authority to conduct or support programs providing training and equipment to the national security forces of foreign countries. Unfortunately, we have seen numerous instances of abuse and misuse of defense equipment provided to foreign governments, in particularly in Central America. This includes using U.S.-provided equipment to repress local people and perpetuate human rights violations, and in some instances, U.S. materials have been used against our own U.S. personnel in the area. Let me be clear. U.S.-funded equipment in the Northern Triangle region of Central America has been used by foreign government units against our U.S. personnel working in the region. Sadly, we can't brush off these disturbing instances as being far in the past. These problems continue to happen. This year, we have seen civil society actors, journalists, and independent prosecutors and judges under attack in both El Salvador and Guatemala. In just the last few months, the president of El Salvador declared a state of exception that bypasses citizens' rights and exempts security funding from regular oversight. And in Guatemala, we have seen a concerted effort to stamp out the independent judiciary with those who dare to speak truth to power, threaten, put in jail, or force to flee in fear of their lives. The Northern Triangle region is, a, is at a pivotal moment, and in the United States, we must support efforts to build stable and prosperous communities to contribute to a more stable hemisphere and address the root causes of migration. To that end, this amendment would require public disclosure of our Section 333 aid to the Northern Triangle region to create greater transparency of how and when we support these governments. This amendment, Mr. Speaker, would also require the Secretary of State, in coordination with the Secretary of Defense, to certify to Congress that the governments of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras are credibly investigating and prosecuting their members of the military implicated in human rights violations before sending additional Section 333 funding to those organizations. To my Republican colleagues, I want to clarify that this amendment does not end Section 333 assistance, but it does. Uh, it does not tell the department who can partner it can partner with. It simply says the governments need to be taking steps to investigate members of their military who have been credibly accused of human rights violations, and Congress needs insight into these efforts. The American taxpayer in the communities of the Northern Triangle deserve dignity and accountability. Many here know my strategy for Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. Number one, to hold the corrupt, undemocratic actors who are working against our interests accountable. Help those fighting for accountability, fairness, and democracy in the region, and to ensure that our assistance reaches the people it is intended to help. 
This amendment will help us do just that, and I urge a yes vote on this amendment, and with that, I reserve the remainder of my time. The gentlelady from California reserves for